The purpose of a temperature control system is to maintain a device at a constant temperature. Two types of thermal components are commonly used to precisely control the temperature of optics, lasers, biological samples, or other temperature sensitive devices. One is a thermoelectric, the other is a resistive heater. A thermoelectric is a solid state device characterized by two ceramic plates that bound metal junctions made of two dissimilar metals. When current flows through the junction, heat is transferred from one ceramic plate to the other via the Peltier effect. The direction of current dictates which plate becomes hot and which becomes cold relative to each other. Reversing the current immediately reverses the effect, which allows for active heating and cooling of the load. Resistive heaters have a resistive element sandwiched between two insulators. Current flow in either direction generates heat. Therefore, there is no active cooling function. Cooling is accomplished by dropping current flow to zero and allowing the heat to dissipate into the surroundings. Stabilities are typically not as good as thermoelectrics unless the operating temperature is significantly higher than ambient. A precision temperature controller uses feedback from a temperature sensor, typically thermistors, RTDs, or linear devices such as the LM335 or AD590. With these sensors, stabilities of 10 millikelvin to 1 millikelvin are commonly achievable. Less precise sensors, thermocouples, can also be used for stabilities of about 1 Kelvin. The design of the system dictates the stability. If the sensor, thermal component, and device being stabilized are poorly connected, the best controller in the world can't help. The precision sensor bias current source drives the temperature sensor at a known level, making the sensor voltage stable and accurate. The voltage across the sensor is given by Ohm's law. The maximum and minimum voltage bounds are specified in the temperature controller datasheet. The lowest possible current should be used to minimize the effects of self-heating, which can lead to a falsely reported higher temperature. One key section of a temperature controller is the adjustable bidirectional current source, also known as the output stage. This section responds to the control system by driving current to the thermoelectric or resistive heater. For resistive heaters, wiring may be required to restrict current flow to be unipolar. The temperature set point is an analog voltage into the system and dictates where the controller will maintain the temperature. It can be created by a combination of onboard trim pot adjustment and the remote set point input. To maintain stable temperature at the set point, the sensor reported actual temperature is compared to the set point temperature. Subtracting these two voltages yields the error. The PID control system converts the error into a control signal to the adjustable current source. The adjustable current source will then respond to minimize the error. A more thorough discussion of PID control can be found in TechNote TNTC01. Power must be provided to the control electronics and current source. This can take the form of a DC power supply for an OEM module or AC input for an instrument. Designing a temperature control system includes choosing the power supply. In some temperature controllers, two supply voltages can be used. VDD to power the control electronics and VS to provide higher compliance voltage. Typically, VDD requires lower voltages, 3.3 to 5.5 volts, while VS is designed for higher voltages. Some of the power goes to the thermoelectric or resistive heater, while the rest must be dissipated by the temperature controller. Past the maximum internal power dissipation, thermal damage to internal electronic components is possible. Suppose the PTC5KCH is used with a 28 volt supply and a 3 volt thermoelectric. In this case, 25 volts will be dropped across the temperature controller. This means at 5 amps, the internally dissipated power will be 125 watts. The maximum internal power dissipation of this controller is 60 watts, meaning components will overheat and suffer permanent damage. Alternatively, with this power supply and thermoelectric, the maximum current within the safe operating range is less than 2.4 amps. 
The maximum current and voltage specifications are tied, not independently achievable. Wavelength provides online safe operating area calculators for all components and modules to simplify power supply choice and safe operational parameters. Compliance voltage is the maximum voltage available to the thermoelectric or resistive heater and is typically specified at full current. If a 28 volt supply is used with a temperature controller that requires 6 volts, the compliance voltage is then 22 volts. Reaching the compliance voltage limit impacts the controller's ability to keep the load at a stable temperature. For more details on thermoelectrics and compliance voltage, see application note ANTC15. Any heat removed from a device must be dissipated out of the system. If the heat sink design is marginal, this heat stays in the load and the temperature rises instead of remaining at the set point. The control system, seeing a temperature that is too high, responds by driving more cooling current through the thermoelectric. This results in additional heat being generated and a continued rise in the temperature. This is called thermal runaway. Thermoelectrics and resistive heaters are sensitive to overpowering, but they are robust with respect to fast changes in current or voltage. Safety features of the temperature controller may include a thermal runaway condition indicator. Temperature limits, both high and low, trigger indicators or shut down output current. Default shutdown conditions may exist that will either maintain the load at room temperature or disable output current in the event that the set point voltage attempts to go out of range. To avoid overdriving the thermoelectric, an adjustable limit circuit is included in the temperature controller. Most limit circuits cap the current at the max level and keep operating. Higher current limits enable faster heat transfer, so time to temperature can be reduced if the control system is optimized to avoid overshoot and ringing. Input impedance is specified for analog voltage inputs. It is used to calculate how much current an external signal generator must source. If the analog voltage input is being driven by a D to A converter with a maximum voltage of 5 volts and an input impedance of 20 kilo ohms, the D to A converter must source at least 0.25 milliamps. For a temperature controller, system stability is a critical specification. Wavelength tests using thermistors because they offer the highest resistance change per degree C. Stabilities can be as low as 0 0.0009 degrees C. Tech note TNTCO2 describing the testing is available. There's more information about temperature controllers, laser diode drivers, power supplies, and other electro-optic topics on our website. Consider us an extension of your team.